Hello, I'm Jill Harrington, President of Help Save the Next Girl. I'm Jennifer Boswell, I'm a Sergeant with the Roanoke Police Department. We're here today to tell you about our Missing Persons Day event that will be held on April 28th here in Roanoke. The event will be from noon until 4 p.m. We'll be holding a candlelight vigil, a DNA collection, and light refreshments. As you can see from looking at some of the flyers that we've collected, uh, there are many people. These are just people who have gone missing in Virginia, a uh, few of them, since Morgan um, was taken. Um, Morgan uh, went missing in October 2009, and the 101 days that Morgan was missing were the most painful of our entire journey. Um, families want answers, and failing answers, they at least want the bodies of their loved ones recovered so that they can be properly memorialized and buried. You know, you say, don't, don't be a statistic, don't let your friends disappear. Too many have disappeared. And each one of these um, folks who are missing, um, many of them have been recovered and found murdered. Morgan, um, Jolie Musa. The sheer numbers doesn't really uh, show the impact and magnitude of the anguish that this represents. Every one of these people had two parents, uh, four grandparents. Many of them have siblings, some of them had children, and all of whom are carrying a huge burden of grief and loss which is one reason why we are holding this event and um, as a big part of the event we're offering a vigil, a candlelight vigil uh, for families of the missing. You know, there, there are no rituals for the missing. So we are creating rituals that will honor the loved ones that have been um, lost to us. And Jill mentioned the candlelight vigil um, and We've got some pastors, local pastors, some chaplains coming in. Um, we'll have a prayer table set up if you want to meet with one of them individually and pray and or pray as a group or as the whole uh, event comes to conclusion. We're going to do a, uh, a vigil as well. Uh, in addition to the candlelight vigil, we also have a DNA uh, collection. And let me explain that a little bit. It's a painless process. They come in, they do a, like a swab of your mouth, and they have the DNA on file uh, for comparison purposes. Uh, if something ever happened in the future, they have it on file. It's just a great tool for law enforcement to have uh, to help us out with these missing person cases. And we encourage anyone to come in and take advantage uh, of that. It's free, there's no cost. Um, and it's available to whoever, and we'll have it set up in the gymnasium area uh, of the Roanoke Police Academy. And we mentioned the date was April 28th. I know you said from noon to four. Um, and we did, we had one, the first annual one was last year. Right. Um, it was, was a very moving uh, experience. Yes, absolutely. Um, so family members can come in and have DNA taken, uh, collected, which will be submitted into the national data banks. Um, so that if there are remains found in any state in our country, um, they can be identified. You know, missing is difficult because families are swinging on a pendulum between hope and despair, and it, it's really an exhausting process to try and, and do that. Um, we not only want to support these families uh, and um, collect the DNA, and provide a way to memorialize and honor their loved ones. But we also want to bring attention to these cold cases. You know, it might be by just someone seeing a picture, it shakes loose um, uh, a memory and someone can call in and um, get more information and um, hopefully find more resolution for families who are grieving their missing ones deeply. The key is we've not forgotten, and, and I know that there may not be any new information, we may not have any new answers, but we want you to know that we've not forgotten, and 
this is an opportunity, even though it be one time a year for us to get together, to meet you, to see how you're doing, uh, to love on you, to pray with you, uh, to have a, a light refreshment. I believe light refreshments are going to be provided. Yes. Um, to sit down and have a light refreshment and uh, and talk to you a little bit. Uh, I know it doesn't seem a, a lot, but it's a lot to us to be able to do this with you. And uh, we just hope that you will come out and, uh, and be a part of this event. And personally, as for law enforcement, I want to extend that out to other law enforcement agencies. It's an open door. Anyone wants to send someone from your department out here to be a part of this, to be a part of the community, uh, that's what this is about. It's not just Roanoke Police Department. It is every police department, every agency, anyone um, who can be involved in this, we, we welcome you. Jennifer, you also have here, which might be a nice thing that we can um, talk a little bit about, uh, a tool that I think is useful for families as well as uh, law enforcement to disseminate. Yeah, this is a packet from the Department of Criminal Justice Services of Virginia. And what it's called is a Virginia Missing Person uh, Family Resource Guide. And it's, it's just really beneficial. I know different departments have policies and procedures on how they handle a missing person. And then that's not to oversee those policies, but you as a citizen, get online and, and view this guide because it has some really resourceful information in it in the event that something does happen. Uh, get on there, familiarize yourself with it, even if it's your neighbor, even if it's a, a family member, it's not you personally. This way you know how to help them, you know, but look through this. I mean, it's, it, it's what can you do, additional considerations, actions your family can undertake, setting expectations, actions to undertake to take care of yourself and your family. It's, it's two or three, three or four pages, and then the very last page of the packet, and there's digital copies online as well is the resources for families and as you can see it's a whole page of different resources that you can tap into and just look through it's just good for knowledge and it, it's and a it's a really nice practical guide you know when you are least functioning after someone has gone missing you don't have to create the wheel um, there is a guide here that can walk you through some simple steps and it's not a voluminous it's not a 20 page thing it's it's a three page um, with some real practical suggestions uh, I, I hope um, that no one needs it but if you do need it um, we are really pleased to offer this resource to families who are undergoing um, the experience of having a missing loved one so we encourage you please to come out on April 28th noon to 4 p.m. Uh, come see us, be a part of this event, and to help us build for the next year and the next and the next. We hope to see you here.